idea for the elf in the shelf. I'm going to make my elf into a flower. And I'm going to sit him in a flower pot with some other poinsettia flowers that I'm going to cut out. So the center one is going to be for the elf. Now I need to figure out how big it needs to be so that my elf's face will fit in there. So I'm just going to grab a circle. See roughly how big that circle is. That's 1.6. I need it to be a bit bigger. I want my opening to be two inches, I'm thinking. That's pretty close. So the flower is going to be 9.576 for the big one. So since that's that, I'm just going to now resize these until I think it looks good. I'm not doing anything particular. I just want them a little bit smaller than the big one. Now, I did find these in DS. I uploaded it, and I cut a circle out of the center one. categories and go into Christmas and type in flowers at the top here in the search bar. I find the flower which is right here the poinsettia and I click it and now I'm going to insert it. And once I insert it actually let me get rid of the other ones that I had here because we don't need them. I'm just going to close the eyes so they're still there, we're just not able to see them. Anyway, so I am going to click this. And since I know already that I, oh, I guess I'm going to ungroup it. And now I'm going to either close the eye of or completely delete the centerpiece because we don't need it at all. Now I'm going to regroup it. That's what I'm going to do. But before I do that, I'm just looking for the bigger poinsettia so I can copy and paste the exact size of it. Oops, just have to push the back button here. Group just that image together so it moves together. And copy and paste this. Now I can close it. Click this and paste. There, so that's the exact size of the big one. Now I'm going to get a circle, and I know that I need it at two inches, so I'm just going to change that to two. Now you could try centering it, and it looks pretty good. So now that it's centered, 
you need to ungroup the two pieces, click the circle and bring it forward just so you can see it. Now click on the circle, shift, and click on one layer. So we're just doing the red layer, and then you can click slice. You can only slice one layer at a time. So click the circle and click the green layer and click slice. Now you can remove the center pieces. And there you go. Now you notice the green is going to cut in individual pieces. That's okay because you'll just glue them to the round, I mean to the red pieces afterwards. And that's what will keep them in place. to um, select all and regroup so this way if you do need to resize anything you can very easily do so and also remember to open the eyes up on any other of or any of the other images you have or they won't cut for you so we go to the make it it breaks it up into the screens for you I wonder if I can move that one. To this mat. Oh yeah, there's more than enough room. That's a cool thing to do so you don't waste as much paper. And that one might be able to be moved. To another mat. Let's see if we can get it onto that one. doesn't look like we're going to succeed. So we'll send him back to where he belonged. And everything else looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and cut it and see what happens.